Hello everybody, it's Jesse, and this is a paid promotion for the game Master of Orion. I know what you're saying. Jesse, you are being paid to promote Master Orion, a game you already own and have been playing for a while. Yeah, I am. And I'm damn happy to be doing it. I cannot even stress how much I enjoy this game. I've had a lot of fun playing it. And as I play through the beta and, and early access, and as it gets ready to launch, it is just getting better and better and better. So today, I figured we'd jump into this thing and I'd show you kind of uh, what you're getting into when you play Master of Orion. Now, for those of you who don't even know, I am a huge fan of games like this. Am I good at them? Not really, but I love playing them, so you're just gonna have to deal with that. Uh, Master of Orion is a game that is really one of the old school franchises of this genre, um, and it's back. It was bought up by the guys over at Wargaming, and NGD Studios made the game, and it is essentially, if you can get into a Civ game, if you can play that, or if you're a 4X master, or whatever, you're gonna dig this. I, I know this is a game that I was like, hmm, this could either turn out like one of the good Master of Orions, or one of the bad Master of Orion games, and I thoroughly enjoy it. I have enjoyed it since I played it way back in the like, ultra beta phases, when there were only like three races in this thing. And I enjoy it now that there are many, many more. Speaking of races, all the races are voiced by really famous sci-fi actors. So, Mark Hamill's in this, John Delancey, a.k.a. Q, uh, Alan Tudyk, your favorite uh, pilot, I guess now, possibly droid. We'll see in the winter when that movie comes out. Dwight Schultz, my man Dwight's in this. Michael Dorn, freaking Worf is the narrator. There's plenty more. Uh, Troy Baker and Nolan North are in this, so you know it's a video game. Uh, yeah, it's, it, you know what, let's just get into it. So I'm gonna pick humanity, even though I don't really consider it to be like the base class, like where it's balanced, every single one of these races, species, are totally different, and they all have their own benefits, and they also have their own drawbacks, which I think is really cool. There isn't like a across the board, like this is the average species. So I'm gonna leave all these random, just cause it'll be fun to see who we encounter. As you can see, game settings for a game like this, if you play games of this variety, they should all look very familiar to you. The only thing on here that you probably are like, what is Big Bang Seed? That's just a world generation number. So if you like it, you can go back and just enter in 44241 again. Advanced settings are pretty much what you'd expect. Random events, pirates, monsters, racial traits, which like I was talking about, um, balanced starting conditions, the usual, the usual that you would expect from advanced settings in a game like this. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's important that you would want to know. I mean, like usual, map size determines the number of opponents you can have. So right now I have five, but that's because I'm on a medium map. Um, you can change your galaxy type. I mean, it's all pretty self-explanatory. The Human Republic. That's me! Fulfilling a dream once thought impossible, all of mankind has come together as a single world of traders and diplomats, explorers and scientists, pressing toward the final frontier. Ah, Dorney, I from see what you did there. Earth, they now seek to explore space, discover ancient civilizations, and coexist peacefully with their neighbors from a position of strength and solidarity. Another cool thing about this game is that ship you saw, you can edit the hell out of your ships. Make them look like whatever, Welcome, it, I'll show you. I am Victoria, your personal advisor. What up, Victoria? It is my job to help you manage our people's needs and keep you updated on what's happening on the furthest reaches of our dominion. Okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks for that. So, Essentially, as usual, fleet needs orders, so you click that, I mean, you don't Excuse have to, me, but... President. Oh, yes? Exploration is the key to our success, so let's go from Soul Prime over to the Unexplored. I found a gas giant! Soul 2! I feel like... I'm just gonna put this out there. A lot's happened to our solar system. We have a blue star now, a blue-white star. This must be long in the future, and only two planets. Anyway, our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? Another thing to mention just to point it out is that 
all of the assistants you have for all the different species are um, themselves different. And some of them are really entertaining. Uh, the human one is just, you know, a helpful human assistant. So let's talk research. When I play humanity, I like to focus on building and automated research because as it turns out, when you expand as a human, you have a problem in that your people need to reproduce and make food, but they also need to build things, right? But you only start with one little dude. And so you either build, which means you have no people production, uh, no babies, or you focus on building new generations of people, which means you don't have any structures being built. So either you need to wait until you can ship people to the planet or automate the hell out of it. So that is the strategy that I go with in the beginning of the game. Okay, choose production. Soul Prime, what are we gonna build? Oh, also my favorite thing in the world, just show a queue. So instead of just building one thing, like we can build, uh, Man, missile base would be nice. We can build a research lab, right? Okay, start building. But now, I have other options to build. So I built that, let's do missile base. Start building. And then we'll do, uh, I don't know. Let's build a frigate. Start building, okay. And now I have a queue built up. And so over time, you can buy stuff. If you're into the 4X world, this is gonna be so simple to get into, let me tell you. I mean, hell, if you've played, like, a Civ game, you're going to jump into this and be like, Excuse I know exactly what to do. All right, and then next. So my fleet needs order, so boop, we'll click that. I think we will uh, go to one of these planets, and once I find one that's suitable, I'm going to send my scouts out to go explore the galaxy. But I figure Sarcomand is a good place to start. Turn. We got this, gang. Now, over time, of course, all of this will be explored, but more importantly, we'll discover other alien races and other ways to connect between things and wormholes and secret objectives. And of course, Orion, because we got to be the master of it. Pardon me, President. It's a viable planet. All right, let's let's give it a once over. It's large, arid, and abundant. Hell yeah, colonize this shit. And then my ship flies in. It's beautiful. Let's tear it all down. The McDonald's will go there. Okay, cool. So anyway, like I was saying, one of the biggest problems with humans as a uh, starting race is that when you land on a planet and you take it over, like we have, you have one little dude. And I can either put him in food, which builds the population, which allows me to have more little dudes to place in other places. Or I put him in production, which allows me to build things, but then you'll see I'm now starving to death. So my options are either bring more people to this planet from Earth, Soul One, or I get automated shit going and put it all right here. And then more of these people show up and then I can put them here. Da, da, da. So right now, I'm, I'm not even like I'll build a government facility and just chill with it. I'm not really going to end up building anything here because you'll see nothing's going to happen. Now I could buy it should I make enough money. But right now I'm just going to do this. I'm not going to worry about building transports or, or things like that. And then this little dude, I'm going to send this guy out to go, I'll just, I don't know, auto-explore him. And his friend, uh, Scoutman2, send him out. So I found another planet, which is ultra-rich, highly toxic. So I could go there if I wanted to, but I'm going to wait because later I can terraform. And I'm going to terraform the hell out of that planet. Okay. And then this guy, since he's... Sort of my badass protectorate flig uh, fligate? Fligate, man. It's my fligate. I'm going <laughs> to keep him there. Okay. Now, if I was playing against other people or, uh, you know, I was super tryharding this thing, I'd be doing like 50 things at once. Really, when I play by myself, I go with the objective of build up my uh, 
research and my knowledge base and become the smartest people in the galaxy and make super ships and then destroy everyone like way at end game. So uh, that's probably how I'm going to end up playing this, but we shall see. Anomaly President, detected. If I may. So that's way out in the middle of nowhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divert this guy. I'm going to divert this guy to there. Our scientists have made a new discovery. There's my factory. I have a neutron blaster, which is nice. Upgrade my blueprints. So here's another cool thing you can do. Uh, right now I only have frigates, but I can go in here and change what they have on them. So if I want to upgrade, I now have an upgraded thing. And then I can also edit it. I can edit this ship and we can change what it is. We can change the base model of what the frigates look like. There are different themes we can go with. We can change all sorts of weird things about them, but um, I'm fine with what we have now. Actually, you know what? I like this one because it puts the logo right up front. It lets them know who's going to hit them. Safe. Done. Our scientists are eager to start. Okay. What should we focus on? We should focus on biology. Excellent. Because I don't know much about it. And because I have one frigate that is active currently, I can upgrade this bad boy. And then all my other frigates will end up being frigate threes in the future. So upgrade. And this dude right here is now upgraded. And anything I build in the future, so we'll go here and we'll look at this. This is now a frigate three instead of a frigate one, which it was going to be to begin with. Cool. Okay. Arriving at the anomaly, your fleet spots an abandoned container filled with rare minerals floating unguarded in open space. You tell yourself some smuggler on the run must have jettisoned their cargo. Nobody is around to claim it, so you add it to your treasury without a second thought. We just found space treasure, guys. We found a space treasure chest. I'm not even going to question it. 50 credits is 50 just credits. Just a minute of your time, President. We've encountered a wormhole. You said wormhole. So that's going to be interesting because what I plan to do is when I have little space builders, I'm going to build up defenses all around this thing and I shall be the only one with access. But for now, we'll leave it there because I'm a nice guy like that. Alrighty, so I've discovered Capelli, Capella, which is there. But it isn't necessarily connected to anything that I can get to yet. Hmm, we'll eventually start finding people here. Eh, you go back to exploring. I feel bad for these guys. I'm basically sending them out to their death. Eventually, they're going to run into something that's like the intergalactic space bug. And it will just slaughter them. But you know what? I wish them the best. This hey, is GNN. GNN. Galactic News Network. You are tuned to GNN, the only network that tells you what you need to know. Bringing it to you live. Galactic News Network, the galaxy's most reputable news source. This is just the intro to the fact that those guys are going to show up every so often and give you, like, humanity now has three planets, or Jesse is bad at... Fighting space battles, whatever, we'll just show up and, yeah. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Have they? Hydroponic farms? What, man? What are we even growing in there, man? Uh, let's jump to engineering. Terrific. <laughs> Terrific. I guess I could, uh, next time I'll show you the tree. Because my engineering's about to blow up. Uh, how you doing over here? One more turn for that. And then let's build an automated factory. That'll help. And we can build another colony ship after that. Now you'll notice I have tra I can just trade goods and get money. Or I can pollution clean up. I'm going to do that there. Because what will happen is eventually stuff's going to get polluted. Right now I'm at minus one. So it's not going to be too much of an issue for me. But eventually, if I keep building ships and things, there's going to be pollutants everywhere. And so if you just do this at the end of a long series of building, it'll clear this up. And then when it's done, 
it'll just stop, right? Because there's no more pollution to clean up, and it'll just stop, and it'll be like, you need to build something else here. It's actually really, really nice to have that option and have that built into the game so it's like, we know you need to clean up, but we're not going to keep it going and you forget that on your planet that was happening and you actually aren't building things. Oh, Soul Prime. Meanwhile, back here, nothing's still happening. This guy's doing his thing. So what I could do, and what I am going to do, is switch this to this. And we're going to wait until I have 400 and just plop it in there. Excuse me. Oh, no. My colony's population has grown. You mean the colony of Earth? Yeah, that's a nice place, I hear. There's also a new ship design has been discovered. Yo. And a pirate fleet has been detected. Way down here. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Yes, they have. I have destroyers now and anti-missile rockets. Done. Cool. Let's do... Let's get some Fantastic. economics. So here's the tech tree right now. And you'll see we got... Oh, God, that went very quick. We have uh, your sort of governmental path, your physics path, your biology path, your engineering, and it all sort of blends together to eventually your... You know, you have... Alien, like, Xenot, like, you learn about, you're learning about aliens, and you're, you have alien management centers, right? You have galactic trading, you can have crazy robots eventually, you can get into the point where you're like, we have warp fields and subspace fields and artificial intelligence and quantum fields at this point, trans warp fields. Also, there is what my, what I like to do, which is basically you go down the path of just building planets. So eventually you're just like, you know what, let's like uh, build some crap around planets or build our own planets or just transcend the planes of reality. But early on, if I'm not mistaken, you can just get planetology, which allows you to compress gas planets, create artificial planets out of asteroids, things like that. Um, that's usually my favorite path to go because then I just end up with more things, which means more money, which means more domination. First you get the planets, then you get the power. Then you get the women. Excuse me. What was I saying? What was I saying? War and taxes are inescapable. Thanks to that advice. I'll view that screen. So there you go. This is your empire management screen. Gives you a little rundown of how things are going. How you're focusing your empire. Your tax rate, which you can change. I'm going to keep everything the same. I'm not going to really mess with much there and just do my thing. Oh, Lord. President, if I may. Our scanners have detected an electromagnetic disturbance. That's either good or bad. Let's find out. Pirate spotted, President. Well, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. It was bad. Well, there's no pirates. There's not pirates necessarily there. Let's go. Let's leave. Maybe they're Just not home. Use of your time, President. Consider building a space factory next. I will get on that. Okay, cool. So I have my frigate, and my frigate is going to go... There's really only one way in here, so for now, I'm going to set him right there. Because who knows the space pirates are going to come over here and try to mess with me, so we'll just have him defend. Leap needs orders. This guy needs to run. No, God, why would you go there? It's just a gas planet. And then he runs... Whatever, you're, look, you're, you're the explorer, I'm just a dude. There's a planet here, ooh. That's gonna be my next place to settle. Basically, my initial objective is to get one planet in each little system here. Holy crap. That's also, seagrass? That's also very good. And then there's the little, little tiny baby planet. Little swamp planet that has gems, though. Their Abara system is pretty great. Even has an orange star. There's a what is that? A pink star? Brown star? That's pink. I don't care what space says it is. That's a pink star. Okay. Keep 
going, keep building. I'm at 455. Now is the time. Bye. All right. Done. If I may have a moment. A high morale is key to maintain a happy populace. Choose my production. All right. So now I can actually build things and things will happen. And so I need to keep that going. I think for now, I'm going to do a research lab. And then we'll move into a government facility. And then biospheres. Yeah, that'll do. And now they actually are building. It's all part of my plan. Okay, let's keep it going. Uh-oh. Pleased to meet you. This is the controller of the Cylon Quanta. I am certain we have much to learn from each other. Do we, though? I guess we're in kind of good standing. Yeah, alright. Also, they fly around in little UFOs. And now, which, I, which I love. Do not panic, but long-range scanners have detected a gigantic space monster lurking in a previously unexpected sector of space. And now, sports! Pardon me, President. We have detected an unknown life form. View the monster. I'm not gonna... Look, just avoid the space squid. You, avoid that thing. Don't go fight it. Run away. Don't do it. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Okay, let's go with... Uh, let's view the technology tree, and I'm just gonna do what I... What I know I want to do right now, which is... Where are we going? Where are we going? I think advanced engineering right now, or, I mean, I like the boost in production. Let's do that. Yo, done. All right. This guy is playing a dangerous game. Uh-oh. This guy's going to go there. Pirates and aliens there? I don't know what they like to be called aliens, but the aliens got rid of them for me, so hooray, aliens. I mean, the Cylon Quanta. Yeah, they're aliens. Cool. All right. If I may have a moment. Now that we've contacted another race, we should try to build a relationship with them. That's what I'm going to do. But not right now. I'm going to, through through a place of power, when I've taken over a bunch, then we'll talk. It's about to go down. Oh, no! Welcome, stranger. I am the Empress of the Mershon Pride. If you scratch our backs, we'll scratch yours. Yo, you hitting on me, cat lady? I know the internet will be down for that. I'm saying you're all weirdos. All right, this is about to happen. Oh, no. What? Oh, wait, no, it totally did. All right. Um, <laughs> Victory chance is terrible. It's like, just auto-resolve it. Really? Are you saying that I can't win this? Game, please. This guy could pull it out. I believe in him. Later, he died. Oh, because they, they left. They flew away. Interesting. I guess that's why it was auto-resolved. F it. Let's, can we go fight this guy? Oh, no. It's like, don't do not do that. That's a horrible idea. We, we gave you this one, Cox. We gave you this one. This poor guy is so confused. He doesn't know what to do. I, I somehow lived through that. Oh my god, fine. Let's just take him to this uh, planet here and then we'll send him out on auto. Just, I don't know how you lived, my man. I'm gonna, look at that guy just destroyed. Oh, just destroyed cat girl. Oh, that's shit. Oh, now they're coming for me. Run! Don't fight, run! Scout! Oh god, simulating. Simulated his ass getting kicked. That was like one of those Final Destination movies. He somehow lived. Somehow those pirates just flew away, ignored that battle. They came back and got his ass. Death came for him. Rip, never forget, his name was just Jonathan the of your Scoutsman. Time, President. Ah, so we have to select a technology here. We can either get a Class 1 shield, which would be dope, or a missile avoidance system. I think I'd rather have the Class 1 shield. 
Our scientists have made a new discovery. Cool. So now that I have these two, we can upgrade the blueprints for both of them. Right? Upgrade! Upgrade! And then, uh, we'll just say done for now. Research continues as expected, President. Yeah, that's, that's where I wanted to go. And because this is out of plan, I can upgrade it. You'll notice I'm a big dum-dum. And uh, this one right here isn't going to get upgraded. It's still a three because it's not at the planet. That's fine. I'm not really too concerned early game about that guy being a badass. If I lose a dude because he's not a four and he's actually a three, it's not going to affect my, my life. Welcome to GNN. Galactic News Yo, Network. population boom. Population has boomed. Great. Okay. Colony ship is ready. Let's put him here with this guy. And next turn. Then we'll send these two guys out together. Uh, and then we'll skip it. Fleet B, I want you to join with this guy. We'll send you both to uh, here. Meaningful exchange furthers understanding. Sure, yeah. I'll take your star charts. Oh. If I may have a moment. Strange readings near Orion. We should take a closer look. I mean, I'm not gonna right now, but if you wanna go, you have fun with that. Okay. So we'll build up, uh, I don't know. We'll get some biospheres. And some hydroponic farms. And uh, we'll do that. Actually, let's build a space factory, too. Because we need to do that as well. Okay. Done. Dunzo. Meanwhile, everything's chugging along on this planet. This guy, we're going to put him right there. Boop. Now we got five production. Everything's turning up, Jesse. I mean, humanity. Uh, we'll do a missile base. Basically, these things are going to end up protecting me. Missile base, star base will protect me in space. Marine barracks, eventually you have to assault the planet if you want to take it over. And so this will make that really difficult. Um, done for now. Now we'll let these guys go one by one. Then I'll take over Earth 2 over here. This is GNN. Galactic oh, there News goes my population Network. boom. That's fine. We'll jump this and go. Boop. It's so beautiful. We'll put the McDonald's right there. Okay, and as per usual, in order to prevent problems, we'll do that, and then boop, and then because I don't want to wait, we'll do that, and done. And now, the news. Yo! Get out of town, we killing it. And this guy, he'll just stay there and defend. Yeah, what? What? Not Zibam 3! Oh, I knew that place was dangerous. All right, well, that guy's dead. I feel for him, I do. All right, choose production. Let's again go with my research lab, boop, and my revenue service and my government facilities. And then, you know what, we'll jump into the biosphere and hydroponic farm, and that should be enough for a while. And then I'll leave that planet to its own devices. Cool, everything is progressing quite nicely with my little space empire. I suggest you consider this offer carefully. Yo, consider. We're friends, after all. Yeah, no, super friends. We're great. We're great friends. Huge fan of Egyptian cat people. Space Egyptian cat I'm people. I'm so happy. I could purr. You, you hitting on me, lady? Stop that. Keep 
it all going. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Damn right they have. Okay, upgrade. Upgrade. Done. And you'll notice. Our scientists are eager to here. start. What should we focus? Excellent. <laughs> She's like, yeah, no, great choice, sir. Whatever. I can't upgrade my ships because I don't have the money to do it. So maybe later we'll worry about that. So like I said, you don't necessarily need to or have to upgrade your ships. But, uh, you know, it just makes it easier if you got the cash. How about your ships in order and in line? Hey, Space Factory. So Space Factories are your essential worker bees. So I can send a guy here. And I don't know that I have the ability to right now. Hell yeah, I do. So I'm going to essentially mine this gas planet for, for money. Get space money. Okay, let's do the collider and some moolah, and then we will build a destroyer level three. Yes, perfect. Perfect done. I'm gonna find that pirate son of a bitch. I'm gonna send him to hell. I'm gonna send him to hell for killing Johnny Scoutsman. Welcome to GNN. What? Cylon Quanta ships have recently visited the legendary Orion system. Well, I would have gone there if I wasn't afraid that I'd die. Well, they can't take it over, hopefully, because Orion's going to Our scientists have made ass. a new discovery. Update all the blueprints. Yes, upgrade. Ah, so everything's good, but I'm curious. Let's edit. Let's do the tiger. I call it the tiger shark. Mm, I like this one. Save. Done. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? Artificial gravity? Why, that'd be swell. Orbital shipyard. Oh, man, that'd make my death spores. To Give those pirates... <laughs> Didn't even get a chance to say how good of a choice that was. Okay, good. That's done. Now we can take him over here and build either a space surveillance system, which I don't really need because I know what's going on on the other side there, or a military outpost, which is going to be super useful if anyone tries to invade this. Uh, that's a good, like, blockade point where I can stop them. I can build one here, too. And then, uh, yeah, I think, I think, I think we're good for now. Everything's going swimmingly. Research Our scientists have and made a fungal new discovery. farms. Death spores, which I can shoot at, guys. Let's go to advanced engineering? Advanced fusion, yeah. So, I'll just go through this. Here's my empire again. There's the management screen. Research. Research can Diplomacy. There are three unknown aliens out there. Oh, I'll find them. Espionage, which eventually I can get to, but uh, I'm not there yet. Different planets. The fleets that I have. And my path to victory. So, score. Some unknown species kicking our ass. Conquest. I ain't even, like, it's, sad. it's a sad day for me. That's fine. Just you wait. There will come a time when I destroy all of you. All of you. Speaking of which, let's skip ahead till much later in the game when I'm actually doing that, and I'll show you uh, what the galaxy looks like then. Okay, so I know I promised we would show later in the game, and it's a only a little bit later. Uh, turns out, I'm not sure how much later in the game I'm going to get. There is a supernova imminent in, in the soul system. I think I'm about to watch my entire planet be vaporized. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I've never seen this before. This, it, it looks like trouble. I am, I think what I'm going to need to do is just get people out of here and start building civil transports and just keep doing it and try to get them to other planets. I don't know what's going to happen. This could be end of days for humanity. Uh-oh. The Sky Lord of the Alkari greets you, Wanderer. 
I trust you have the wisdom to coexist with us. Yeah, sure. Can we go live on your planet? Because shit is going down on ours. Here I was like, I'll show you late game and show you all my cool ships and my... Welcome to nope. GNN, Galactic what? News Network. Science saves the day once more. Yay, science! As the supernova event threatening a human colony. Hey, human, we did it. All right, well, that means I don't need to deal with this crap anymore. Yeah, go team, we did it. Now we can go back to being lethargic and build another colony ship and a cruiser. Oh my god, I have cruisers. Actually, we probably should worry about pollution, but to hell with it. We didn't do it before. Our scientists we ain't going to do it discovery. now. Cool. Cruisers with titanium armor. Psh. Hell yeah. Done. I guess I could have clicked upgrade all, but... Start. What should we focus on? I like to see what I'm doing. Oh, man. I don't know that it matters now if we can literally stop supernovas. We're so advanced. We s Private funding. Let's do gravity. Terrific. Upgrade all. Next, that's what we'll do. Have my compliments, alien. I am the Khan of the Alpha Seti system. Long have my people suffered in the past, but be warned. We will abide no more. I know you want to be evil, but how am I supposed to take you seriously? Your name is Ryan. You're Khan Ryan. I'm just... Meaningful exchange furthers understanding. You're with me on this, right, Forearms? There has never been an evil person named Ryan, ever. A most agreeable conclusion. Also, I know that probably trading him a weapon for deep sea cooling might not be the best strategy, but I feel like if I maybe focus on weapons, then I can use him for other techs. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Speaking of weapons, let's jump on this cruiser real quick. Build these up, and then I shall dominate the galaxy. Okay. Let's send this person to... Let's... You know what? We're going to send them here. And just have them chill right there. Have them chill out. Do whatever it is they do. Oh, oh. What? Oh, never mind. It was nothing. You lack the might to do as what? you please, so you'd better do as you are told. Damn, we about to... Fighting's going down, guys. Fighting is happening. Oh, just because I sent my, my fleet here? Just because I sent this fleet here? This fleet of five frigates that are about to go attack your planet? Actually, let's go destroy this thing. Yo, take command. Declaration of war? Let's do this! You thought you could escape us before, but you can't escape humanity! We F everyone up! Assisted command. Full control. Make all the decisions. Take all the glory. Well, AI Admiral takes over unit micromanagement. This is my shit right here. Let let my AI Admiral micromanage him. Take over. Do all the work for me. Done. Let's do this. They have, they have one space station. Yes, good. Now we destroy them. All right, let's uh, go this way. Oh, shit, things are happening. Attack this ship. Switch your formation into this cool formation. Yeah, now we, now we in the zone. Oh, that poor ship. Get it, wreck that thing. Don't cease fire, destroy them. Now switch into this formation. The mighty ducks, the mighty ducks. Quack, quack, quack. Now this formation. And then we'll slowly do this. Throttle it, baby, go faster. I guess we are going as fast as possible. Victory! Usually in a situation like that, I just auto-resolve, but... I figured I'd show you guys a fight. Oh, damn. War has Your been declared! has gotten the best of you. Very well. Let 
the games begin. Damn, human versus human. Of course, of course the Terran and the human would be at war. As it has always been. Uh-oh, they're coming back for me. They're coming back for me. Bring it. Oh, no. Oh, what? They're leaving? All right, that's fine. A fleet needs orders. Attack their planet! Oh, shit. Starbase, what is that? Eight? What if we don't do that? What? It's a balanced fight. What if I... Um, let's take command. I'm going to keep it. Let the AI Admiral take over the battle. Just sit back and enjoy the show. What if I do this one? It's gonna. It's the same thing as auto-resolve. Uh, let's do this. I like changing my formations. And then we fight this thing. Oh, my God. All right, let's do this. Let's make this happen, Captain. Go destroy this shit. This foolish station. And go. Faster. Much, much faster. Pew, 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 pew. Oh my goodness. Keep hitting them. Switch to square formation. Square space. Now switch up to Mighty Ducks. We stand a chance, I think. Go there. Now switch up to this formation. I have, what is this, hold? This is move. Match speeds, retreat. Well, I guess I'm fighting a thing that isn't moving. Although, it looks like I'm doing it now. Mighty Ducks! Quack, 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 quack. Destroy it. Yeah, get shreked! That is how we do. Done. Yes. I can't attack the colony. Don't worry. We'll find a way. Nature finds a way. Guard. Blockade. Yes. Get wrecked. Now, what I intend to do here is put this guy here. And if I can build this quick enough. Ah, I do have spies. Okay. Okay. Um, Bravo, I want you... Actually, Charlie, I'm going to send you... I'm going to send you to... Can you spy on this planet? Yeah! Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's sneaky. Okay, um... Uh-oh. Holy shit! Retreat. Run. Fly away. Never mind, they died. They all died. That's fine. I have spies going in there. Wow, they actually have a real fleet coming to get me. That's unfortunate. Let's take you and put you here. And let's take you and put you guys here as well. Ooh, 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 ooh that's not good. This is GNN. State Galactic of the Galaxy. News I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. I got too cocky in my old age. Humanity. Got too cocky. A spy needs orders. Yes. Yes. Await my orders for missions. Okay. Uh, let's acquire data. And then we'll slowly work our way through. I probably should show you that screen. I'll do it after we start acquiring data. All right. Another colony ship. Why, that's the best. I wanted this planet, right? Yeah. Excellent. And then... Uh... What happened to my... Other ship. Didn't I? Oh, Fleet B. There it is. About to say, didn't I have another one? I'm going to send you there too. Oh boy, this is. This is a problem. You know what? I'm going to buy this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to spend the money to buy that. Even though it's unnecessary. But let's get that ship built. Because I got a feeling. It is going down. There we go. Come on. USS F em up. It's the name of that ship. It's an ancient name. You are just going to chill out right there. Ah. 
I would prefer us to engage in profitable association. Me too! I like those bastards, the Terrans. You have my thanks. Excellent. Now we'll see who has the real power. Con. Con! Excellent. We'll just keep him there for the moment. And this guy will bring there. And we'll send him to colonize this sea planet. This blue marble. Somewhere Luke Skywalker's on there. Looking out the ocean. And Ray standing there holding a lightsaber until another movie for literally a year and a half. Just like, I don't even know what to do with this. And he's like, keep standing there. We got we got to wait till the kids can see it again. Okay, we'll do that. And then we'll build this too as a like backup. Let's get my governmental support and um, research lab. Cool. Everything's great. I have the money to build this right away. Done. And then, even though I didn't need to, put those people on that planet. Great. Choose my Just research. Just a minute of your time, President. Ooh, orbitable sh orbitable? Orbitable? Orbital shipyard or moon laboratory. Let's do... I mean, ship cost, man. That is so nice, especially in a time of war. Done. Let's do... Uh, I, man, private funding. I keep thinking that's the way to go. Let's do xenobiotics. Excellent. I thought so, too. Okay. Upgrade? Hell yeah. Upgraded. Okay, so this guy's done pretty much everything he should do in his life. So I'm gonna send I'm gonna send him hmm. I'm gonna send him here for now. One day we'll make this planet awesome. Can't do anything with it right now, but one day, my god, that planet will be beautiful. Okay. Fleet. Keep fleeting. Ah, yes. Okay. Good work, Charlie. So let's do another mission and infiltrate cybercrime, infiltrate agronomy, basically the agricultural economy, trade unions, or diplomacy. And that leads to more stuff, and each one of these has like a little bit more difficulty to it, right? Um, let's, uh, let's do this. Get me in the trade unions. Bravo, I'm going to send you to here. And you can counter espionage the shit out of that. Yes. Yes. All's going according to plan. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's do this. Counter espionage. Start mission. Got to make sure they ain't spying on me. Uh-oh. Threatening fleet detected. Oh, there? Good luck, losers. Ooh, are they coming for me? So they have four systems. But Stelio Prime is their capital world. Meaningful exchange furthers understanding. You want to give me clones? Hell, I'll take clones. That's friendship is what that is. C cloning your friends. It's what the cool kids do. Alrighty, let's... Uh-oh, here they come. Here they're coming. They're coming. They're coming for me. Let's um pray. Let's take time to pray, guys. Oh boy, here we go. What did they what do they send? A scout? Just like a little baby scout? They sent that guy to die. Uh while we're on the topic, I have a cloning center, so I would just get microbiotics. Let's just do private funding. Fantastic. All right, choose my research. Cloning center, enrich that soil, process toxicity of our city, and then we'll pollution clean up. And then we'll do uh, a destroyer, one single destroyer, done. 
Yeah, let's go, friend. Auto resolve. I feel like we did it, guys. I feel like we did it. New spy ready. Delta. Where are we sending you? Let's send him to this planet. Learn everything we can about the enemy before we wipe them out. All of them. Okay. Yes, that shipyard is so useful in every possible way. We'll do this. We'll do this. Five destroyers. Oh, my God. Let's do it. F it. Let's do it. Let's go down that route. Yeah, you sit tight there. I'm going to build up my, my domination fleet and send them to destroy the worlds of the Terran. Hey. Infiltrated. Cool. All right, well, he's in, so let's acquire data. And Charlie, I'm going to send you to sabotage? Destroys a random structure. Oh, my God. Believe in your dream. Or cause a strike? I don't think that... That's blow up a structure. That's how we do. <laughs> okay. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, full steam. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Crust prospecting. Oh, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna crust prospect. Oh boy, gonna dig for gold. Gonna find it in them planets we is. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I mean, terrific physics, right? Actually, let's go to the tree. Uh, military tactics. Oh, that would be lovely. Galactic trading? Mm. That's an interesting path to galactic trading. Once we know tactics, we can trade better with them. Yeah, that's fine. Take me on that journey. Okay, choose production. Hey, how you guys doing over here? An old rhubarb. Oh my goodness, these guys. Are, let's clean it up if I need to. I don't know that I need to. It's increasing a little bit, but we'll take it back to zero. We'll do deep sea cooling. We'll renew the atmosphere a bit, and then we'll build a star base. These guys over in this area are just living a nice life. Meanwhile, on this planet, they're doing their thing day by day, keeping it cool. This is GNN. State Galactic of the Galaxy. News I guess Network. we'll take a look. And now, the state of the galaxy. Current leaders of advanced technology. That is an inaccurate. That chart makes it look like I'm more than just a few hundred behind. It's rude is what that is. Ch oh, Charlie, are you okay? Charlie died! No! Damn it. What was that Star Trek line? I've never trusted the Terrans, and I never will. I can never forgive them for the death of Charlie. It's pretty much... Pretty much, uh... The state of things right now. Those sons of bitches. What? They came the... Oh, Auto-resolve. They came the other way. Those dicks. Those dicks. All right. Fleet. What? Oh, what assholes. They're just trying to F my shit up. I somehow won. Great. So it looks like they're just going to do raiding runs and try to mess me up. So I'm going to have to defend both. God, this is going to... This is gonna be one of those. Gonna be one of those games. I can. I can already tell. I imagine this war is gonna go on for a long time to come. Anyway, I think that's a great place to leave it. Uh, this game is a ton of fun. I really enjoy it, and I say that not because I'm getting paid to, because I really do. And um, I would have ended up playing this if I wasn't being paid. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna keep playing because I want to see how this all resolves. But this has been a long video, so uh, that's where we'll leave it. And I'll see you next time.